Today on Sporty News, Michael Vick is PETA's number one enemy. Nikola Anelka is dismissed. Peter Crouch is a narcissist. Ron Stewart is a coach by vocation, and a hockey fan gets angry. Michael Vick is the prime target of animal rights activists. The Philadelphia Eagles quarterback has returned to the football field after serving two years in prison for illegal dog fighting. In 2009, Vic and three other individuals were sentenced for raising and training pit bulls for the purpose of fighting them. Back then, many fans distanced themselves from Michael Vick. Since he got out of prison, Michael has been on the path to redemption and has apologized. But animal rights activists still haven't forgiven him. In fact, they started an online petition against all of the players' sponsors. A call to boycott those brands has been made. L'Equipe newspaper won, Nicola Anelka zero. Over a year after the 2010 World Cup, a decision has been reached in the libel case filed by the former French national team player against the Sports Daily. The court found the newspaper not guilty, concluding that the reporters on the scene had simply done their job. A little reminder, Nicola Anelka told off then-manager of the French team, Ramon Domenech, during halftime at their World Cup match against Mexico. When the paper splashed his insult across the front page, Nicola sued it. The highly offensive comment made made its way around the world and led to Anelka's banishment from the competition, and then to his teammates' infamous strike. The strike was another blow to France's disastrous 2010 World Cup, but in the end, ex-captain William Gallas reached an agreement with the French Soccer Federation. He confirmed through his lawyer that he forfeited the bonuses from that World Cup. He'll donate the money to various charities, a nice gesture but not nice enough to make folks forget about the mass fiasco. Has marriage driven Peter Crouch crazy? The English soccer player married his girlfriend, the stunning Abby Clancy. It was a lavish wedding for Cheater Crouch, as he's known in the British press for his many infidelities. $20,000 for the wedding dress, over $400,000 for the ring, and a lovely Bentley for the ride. That's the price of forgiveness for Peter. The story didn't mention if it was after the wedding that Crouch started to lose it. The British striker for Tottenham was sweating away on a stationary bike at a gym when he got up to admire himself in the mirror. He doesn't stop there. World Cup final. Crouch, lurking back stick. Rises like a salmon at the back. What a feeling, Crouch. What a goal. Get in there, Sam. Come on. That's quite an imagination, Peter. Though the only place he can score the deciding goal in the World Cup final is in his dreams, at least until 2014. Ron Stewart is one of the best basketball coaches in the world. The American has spent the bulk of his career in France. He's the one who discovered the two French stars in the NBA today, Tony Parker and Joe Kim Noah. For Stewart, coaching has always been a deep-seated passion. My passion are young kids. I mean, it's always been from a very young age. I've always engaged myself um, with young kids. I always had a, a, a mentality of, you know, whatever I, whatever, whatever I know, whatever knowledge I have, I'm gonna try to give it to, give it to somebody who's younger than, than, than I am. I was a person that was very disciplined. You know, it wasn't because of my parents, you know, really were hard on me or I was just, uh, that was a gift that I had to be very disciplined. And um, I went about my, my, my life in a very disciplined way, made a lot of sacrifices. And I know that I, I, I succeeded because of that. That's what I try to give to, to other kids. And that's why I love to be around kids and I love to give that to them, to give them a chance, to have them understand that, you know, uh, if you want to make it in life, there's really just one way, and it's just really to work hard and be passionate about what you're doing. Move over, soccer fans. It's time for a hockey fan to take his anger to eBay. Upset by the choices of the team's managers, a disgruntled Philadelphia Flyers fan decided to put his loyalty for his once favorite team up for sale. Even more surprising is that people actually went for it. The bids topped $40. The winner of the auction gets to pick the next team that the fan will support, with the exception of the Pittsburgh Penguins and the New Jersey Devils. The former fan promised to post a video of himself burning the Flyers' jersey. Well, he got his 15 minutes of fame, 